Welcome back to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that are important to us, but may or may not be important to you. I am host one of three, Luis Delatore, limited edition. I'm Daikaiju Tony. And I'm Adam Corinne. So. Welcome. Welcome. Let's talk about our wonderful sponsor. Yes. Yeah. Cosmic Comics. The jewel of the Mojave Desert. There we go. Indeed. You stole my line. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll talk about it later. Right, right. <laughs> anyway, we are your one-stop shop for all your right. nerd happenings and goings on, such as comic books, um, manga, t-shirts, action figures. Uh, can I, I want to go first. I got this cool pop figure. Look at this. That thing Look at is this. badass. Look at this. Is it in shot? Can you see it? It is in shot. This is a Galactus pop. Look how big it is. It's it's yes. it's almost the size of my head. And if if you know me personally, you know how big my head is. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's got, it's, a, and it's oh, got a oh, little. Oh, thank you. I, I try to take no, the, care the of the it. No, the pop. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> and it's got a, if you could see it right there, it's got a little little, little silver, silver surfer, surfer right nice. there. A little Herald of Galactus. All right. Uh, this can be yours um, if you come on down. That's if right. If you get it before I do. And, of course, you know, we got comics and graphic novels, but we also have some really cool statues. You know what that is? Doesn't look like much, does it? Sub-Zero. Beyond. Really cool statue. Mm -hmm. And not only Sub-Zero, but awesome. also Spider-Gwen. Go or, Spider. Or as I like to call her, Spider-Woman. Or Gwen Stacy, the amazing Spider-Woman, which is what they should have went with. But, you know. Go, uh, go Spider. I don't work for Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Not after I was kicked out for trespassing. Right. <laughs> yeah, what do you got, Tony? Well, when I went to Marvel, I tried protesting that they would release the Toy Spider-Man series on 4K, and then I was tasered and dragged out. <laughs> what do you got from the store? Did you wait? Did you wait yourself great, before or after that's the a taser? Great anecdote, though. <laughs> after <laughs> I, I went my own spandex. Mm, so. All right. Um, what we have here is a. You got to bring them that way, though. Wait, closer to camera. Like, yeah, well, we moved the camera. So he's got to go that way. A little closer. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> towards you. Towards yeah. you. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. There, there he is. is. I just don't want to block my mic, but okay. Right, Here gotcha. we have the... Common Rider. Yep. By Ben Pestro. Um, the Mass... Well, it's called Mass Rider, but in Japan it's called Common Rider. Common Rider, yeah. Common Rider Ichigo. He's The bad. original Common Rider. Yes. And yeah. he's, he's just so awesome. Just just look at him. Yeah. It's one of the Get greatest. him closer to the camera because he does really look good. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. One of Japan's greatest heroes. Leave him right there. And then when you talk, it's like he's talking. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice, I ordered him. Nice, nice. That's kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we got all this cool stuff right. and more. And still got Outlaw Energy right. for anyone who <laughs> wants it. Come and get it. Right. Uh, we are located in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. So come on down. Give us a visit. Yes. Uh, look around. Buy some stuff. If you're so inclined, you will be. I, I can't. I can't imagine coming in here and not buy. I bought something today. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. So I cannot imagine coming in here and not buying it. I buy stuff every week. Yep. <laughs> yes. So come on down. We'd love to have you. We'd love to see you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd love to chat with you. Right. Feel free to like just chat up the um, chat up the staff. Chat up the, the staff. team. Yeah, yeah. Like if they're working, take them away from their work. Make them <laughs> stop what they're doing so that you can talk to them about all the things that right. you want to talk about. It doesn't have to be comic book related. It could be your life. <laughs> it could be your ideas for movies. Okay, yeah. we'll pitch, you know what I mean? Well, right, right. I, well just, I'm going to steal it, so go <laughs> Wow, ahead. no shame. Just Well, I'm going to steal your idea if it's any good. They do like it when you pelt them with stuff. So like it, but like soft things. Be reasonable, guys. I, I will say, feel free to share your ideas because the truth is, there's nothing new under the sun. Oh, I have a couple um, ideas over here. Yeah, I, there's occasionally we get the guy who's like, uh, "It's too good an idea, I can't share it." I'm just gonna give you a teaser though: werewolves, <laughs> vampires, and zombies. Yeah, you're right, pal. That's never mm. been done. Uh, uh, uh. But they're in a submarine. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> you you could pitch are, this movie. True stories, you yeah. could pitch this movie to Tony while he's doing things. <laughs> okay. Just take Just... him away from his work because he doesn't need to do work, right? Uh, hey, no, hey, he hey, doesn't hey, need to do. Okay, hey. no, no, no. Be reasonable. <laughs> Be reasonable. And hopefully, in another month, we'll get our couch back. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. The social distancing thing should be ending soon. Just, yeah. So come on down. Come I know I'm play. safe. I'm fully vaccinated. Me too. I yep. think you are too. Are yeah. you now? Yeah, you are too. Okay. So come on Actually, down I, when the I, couch I, is I, here. So why are we sitting so far away now? I don't know. <laughs> you guys want to hug? 
Yeah, let's just all get on camera together. What's this, uh, I'm going to hug you. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, all no. sweaty. I'm all sweaty, so yeah. no. I, me too. That's why I'm going to hug him. No. Oh, God. Um, I've gotten used to not touching people. I know, right? Wasn't it nice? <laughs> Wasn't it nice? <laughs> anyway, yeah, when the couch is back, just come on down, take a nap. It's cool. <laughs> Uh yeah, I totally won't taser you. Whatever. Just grab yourself an outlaw. Have, kick kick your feet. Kick your shoes off. Take a nap. Wait, wait take a nap with an outlaw? What? Yeah. yeah. They're not that. Well, crazy. it is full, right. it is full of sugar. All righty. So we are today's going today's to, episode. Today's episode. We're going to talk about a movie that honestly did not do very well. It didn't. And a lot of people haven't watched it or even heard of it. I've met people who have not heard of this right. movie. Um, and I liked this movie I a did lot. Too. A I liked lot, it quite yeah. a bit. Uh, it's John Carter. Disney's John Carter. Right. I figured, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, I figure first we'd, we'd talk a little bit about why we think it failed. Mm-hmm. Um, and just to lead into that, speaking of failure, uh, the movie cost, I had the numbers right here. The movie, I think it was where'd it go? $300 million? Oh, I had it. Yeah, it was like a three hundred million dollar budget, and it only made back seventy five. Two hundred and eighty four million worldwide, and only oh. made seventy five million in the U S. Oh my Ooh. god, that's, so that's um, that sucks out if, loud. If, yeah, if you know anything about movie productions, uh, the production budget does not include marketing. Marketing is usually twice as much as the film, or at least a hundred million, depending on the budget of right. the film. And yep. it's Disney, so right. you know they Disney. spent quite and a bit on marketing. Yeah. It is a Disney movie, and um, mm-hmm. we'll get into that later, because it doesn't feel like a Disney movie, which was refreshing. Mm-hmm. But, um, yep, the best Disney movies are the ones that don't feel like <laughs> yeah, Disney movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but it, it, it did horrible, um, financially. Yeah. Um, but anyway... Living proof that you don't have to... that like Box office numbers don't dictate how good a movie is. That is true. That's so, very true. yeah. I mean, those Fast and the Furious movies make all kinds of money hand over fist. So, mm-hmm. and uh, while entertaining, they're not good. They're not at all. Absolutely absurd. No, no. I'm still waiting for a team up <laughs> between uh, Fast and Furious and uh, Marvel superheroes. Uh, and Avengers. Every, it's only a matter of time. Every Transformers yeah. movie after the second one, because right. the first two were at least quality. They didn't try jamming in every Transformer in one movie. So. And the GoBots. Just throw in the GoBots. I think I threw up a little in my mouth. There. Pepper in the oh, GoBots. When you said quality. Hashtag GoBots movie. <laughs> Hashtag GoBots movie. <laughs> Hashtag GoBots movie. Okay. I, I like so, the performer designs. Uh, let's That's talk cool. about cool. why we think this movie failed. Okay. Uh, who wants to start off? I'll, I'll start off oh, real quick. Okay. You, you can okay. go first. Uh, I, I mean, you might have the same answer as me, right. but uh, I think that the, one of the biggest reasons is that people had no idea who John Carter is. They probably have no idea about the Barsoom series, A Princess of Mars, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I should, I, I general, should say, though, because we, mm-hmm. we didn't really state the point of this video. We want you to see this movie. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, a yeah. really good movie. For sure, yeah. So let's, uh, sorry. Let's right. No, no, that. that's fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, when you look at like the, the work of Edgar Rice Burroughs, like, right. who is probably like the biggest character he ever made is Tarzan. Yeah. So people... At least the most well-known nowadays. Yeah. yeah so people know Tarzan. Right. They don't know. They don't John really Carter. know John Carter, which is unfortunate. Also, the name I think is, I mean, it's, it's just somebody's name, name. So you don't. Yeah, the name of the film yeah. does not evoke any feeling of what is going on. Yeah, like right. if you had named it after one of the novels, Warlord of Mars. Right. Like I think that would have Princess gotten of Mars, Princess of Mars. Princess of Mars. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would have really gotten some people right. in. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's the big thing. Like, I'm not a, not a lot of people that I've met have the title read this was just series. Really unfortunate. Yeah, and again, people don't know who John Carter is. You, like, you you got like your Star Wars, you got your Flash Gordons, right? Your Tarzans. Right. John Carter. No one ever. No one ever talks about John Carter. Right. So I think that's one of the big things. Exposure. There's not enough exposure of this character. Yeah, right. So um, basically, alienated people who. What could potentially get into the character from right. just the name alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, just, I, yeah, the name was really unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> I, John Carter sounds like a movie about like a like a guy well, trying to get over like some terrible lot in his life, like a modern day movie. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Jug, well, or maybe like a, a tough as nails cap. Well, even if you even if you see a preview and you're like ooh, and then the title appears on screen, I imagine it's kind of like. It's kind of like a like a baked beans commercial where they're showing you rich and savory, and they're showing them cook, and you're like, "Wow, that looks good." And they're like, "Generic baked beans," and then you're like, "Generic." That's what that's what the name John Carter evokes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like it's like, "Ooh, this movie's badass." Smoky. Boo, bow, boo, bow. Smoky. John Carter. John Carter. Yeah. 
That's Smoky, lame. savory, right. sweet. Try our fart legumes. <laughs> yeah, like it's just yeah. it's like an unfortunate name I think that evokes yeah. blandness. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's right. definitely not right. anything to write home about. So what At least you, that's what I think. Yeah, what did you have, uh, Tony? Well, considering the high, the highest grossing movie of that year was Avengers. Uh, was that 2012? Yeah, 2012. Yeah. I knew yeah. it was around that time. I just couldn't remember. Like I'm guessing, like. Because, so so Disney title, wasn't... Oh, that was pre-Disney. Kind oh, yeah. of pre-Disney. Yeah, because of the title alone and, well, because of the lack of interest of it is probably what... Um, uh, not let, it's probably what led it to, like, not earning as much money as it should have. And, yeah. And, like, the un- people were unfamiliar with the source material in comparison yeah. to Tarzan, which Disney's done adaptations for. and yeah. Which the Tarzan movie was also actually pretty good. Not oh, the, the newer not one. The newer the one. Action, yeah, not, yeah. Not, the, not the animated one. Well, yeah. that one has Phil Collins. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I know where you're going with this, and correct me if I'm wrong. It seemed like this movie, even the marketing department, had no idea what to do with it. Yeah. Like, it just it didn't it seem like it was marketed very well. If you look at this movie from a person, who, from, like, the perspective of someone who doesn't know right. what they're looking at, this is a weird movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right, like you watch it and you're just like, what is what is guys what jumping is this all movie? over the place yeah. and <laughs> people with forearms? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think this was like maybe a year or year two after Tron Legacy, and yeah. when, when it came to Disney movies that weren't the traditional Disney movies at the time, yeah, like um, I think what Tron Legacy did made people expect it to be within the same caliber as that movie. Wow, I didn't think Tron Legacy was very good at all, actually. <laughs> I, I thought it was as bland as you could be. Yeah. I mean, if you um, look did back, you, but I know a lot of people did like it. Did I you just, Did you watch it uh, before before the show? Like, or, John Carter? Uh, like John Carter, yeah. Two days before the show. Like, right, right, Is right. that the first time you saw it? Or? Uh, no, second you had time. seen it. I was just saying. Second time okay, I've seen okay. it. Okay, Because when we talked about doing the show, everybody's like, oh, yeah, that was a good It's flick. the second yeah. time I've seen it since 2012. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm, oh, okay. This is the third time I've seen yeah. it. I so saw it. I, I saw did it. watch it again today. Yeah, I saw it in theaters yeah. and I bought it as soon yeah, as we it came saw out on it. DVD. Actually, we oh, saw we did? Yeah. We yeah, did. okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it was one of the uh, promos we got. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, what about you? What do you think? Um, well, like I said, I think I think it's just a combination of marketing. I, you know, I don't. Maybe it was a conscious decision at Disney. Maybe they didn't want to detract from some of the other things they had going on. Even though the Avengers was only quasi Disney at that point, I mm-hmm. think I think it had to do with their production. But they weren't fully vested in the Marvel universe yet. I don't know. It just it seemed like it had lackluster marketing, like very mm-hmm. lackluster. Um, like I said before, I think the 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 title of it, the title they chose just did not evoke any sense of anything like they could have called they yeah, could have called generic. it warlord of mars and that would have like it would at least it would at least given you an idea of what was going on yeah um you know i think another problem from the people that did see it and didn't like it um which hurt i think its early reviews and for starters let's just say this is a uh, this was a uh, love letter to to that style of cinema or that style of writing by Andrew Stanton, who's a Pixar guy. If you know him, he he goes back to the beginning of Pixar. I yeah, mm-hmm. um, this was his, and he directed. It. Yeah, I was gonna. And, I was and, just gonna say yeah. it's just funny they kind of threw him in as yeah. a director. Yeah, well, it was his thing. That was, this is like this would be Andrew Stanton directing John Carter is like um, is the same as uh, Guillermo del Toro being able to direct at the Mountains of Madness. Like this was mm-hmm. his. Yeah, like this was something he loved since childhood that he wanted to bring to the world. So it's a passion project. Um, yeah, it was a passion project. Imagine loving like um, Spider Man so much, and then Marvel's right. just like, oh, okay, you want to direct it? Yeah, nobody person. I yeah. mean, they weren't nobodies, but you right. know, what Sam Raimi. <laughs> um, I think it was Andrew Stanton's first live action movie too. Yeah, as well. yeah. Up well, until that point, he was only doing Pixar. Yeah, movies. where I was going with this was that I think that. Um, the people that did see it and what they didn't get is you, you see a lot of sort of action film tropes mm-hmm. yeah. that were common, but what, and it, and it's, and it's unfortunate, but you also have to put certain things in perspective. Edgar Rice Burroughs is the guy that sort of created that modern genre. He's the one that created those tropes in the first place oh. that other action films and, and books have reused multiple times. So I know some people saw John Carter and felt some of it, some of the little action tropes were sort of derivative. Kind so of paint by and, numbers. And it wasn't, and it wasn't of, fair yeah. right. because this is the guy that created this is the originator. The writer of those created tropes, a lot yeah. of those things. So yeah. John Carter predates Dune, right? 
Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think John Carter's like, what, 19, 1912? Yeah, something turn like that? Turn of the century. Oh, yeah. crap. Okay. Yeah, the last yeah, century, not this century. I forget we're in a new um, century. It's so old yeah. I am. <laughs> um, the Turner original, D. But, yeah, 1912. You're absolutely right. Oh, okay, cool. 1912. Yeah. The Barsoom yeah, so. series, yeah. So, yeah, I I mean, if you even if you saw the trailers, right? Like, if right. you remember, like, the first trailer, I, I, again, I knew I knew what it was. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't know what the source material is and right. you watch the first trailer, you have no idea what it is. It just looks, yeah. Yeah. So like there was like a lot of like lack of action um, in the first trailer, if I remember correctly. I remember. And then in the second trailer, it was all action. Yeah. So like now, now if you hadn't seen the first trailer and you're not putting them together, you're seeing the second trailer where just stuff is blowing up and you're just like, okay, okay what is this? You know, it would have been interesting if they almost did like a heavy metal style of trailer like where if they really like a world beyond your imagination yeah you know, that kind of thing so, instead they like, went more tradi- like their marketing just really something like three roads trailer it, yeah well yeah there you go yeah it was weird like the the first one was too tame and the, the right. second one was like too much too much yeah too much and there was no there was generic no big ground. beans yeah yeah <laughs> in theaters like what? Yeah. disney's generic space movie yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so any other that. reasons why we think it failed honestly that's like the I think the biggest thing is the source material. Right. I think that's the biggest thing. So um, let's let's do a setup. What is John Carter about? Without doing too many spoilers, well, John Carter's an Earthman. Mm-hmm. He's actually a former Confederate soldier. Well, in the books, they don't really address this in the movie, which is probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. He's a he's a former Confederate soldier, even though he's done with war. Like he's had enough of war. He just yeah. he thinks. Every side loses. <laughs> um, you know, he, long story short, ends up on Mars. <laughs> and um, Yeah, he's transported to Mars. And uh, Mars is at war. Um, there's actually three factions, but only two of them are really at war. The third faction is quasi-independent. They're considered more barbaric and warlike. And those are the Tarks. The Thark- Tarks. Tharks? Tarks. Tarks. Um, it's between Helium and Zadanga, and they're at war. Oh, and... Uh, I don't want to give away spoilers because we don't want to spoil it. Yes. So they're at war, but one side gains the upper hand. And right. There, there's a reason for it, but they gain I mean, the... you can probably already tell which one. Yeah. If this is the movie. The bad guys gain the upper hand, right? Because of that, they are forcing a peace treaty. Uh, but that peace treaty has to do with the princess of Mars that basically says you're going to marry the bad guy. And yeah. Of course, she's like, F that. I'm out. And that creates a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot and, of... And then you throw John Carter in there, who yeah. on Mars, and why you see him leaping around. Because on Mars, there's a lot less gravity. Mm-hmm. And he is, for lack of a better term, like golden the, age yeah, Superman. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, like, he's like... He's golden age Superman. Yeah, because of, because can, of Earth's gravity, yeah. when he gets there, he's like... He's, he's got mad hops. He's, he's yeah. super strong. Right. Yeah, so like he's... Yeah, he's Mars Superman. There's actually a really good two-minute sequence, I think, where he's just trying to figure out how to walk. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, pretty which funny. Is pretty, yeah, it is pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, he's uh, like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. It's really good, yeah. Um, there is a lot of like modern sort of twists in it. So like... Like, a, for example, the, the princess, Deja Thoris, yeah. in the book is a damsel in distress. Yes. Um, um, and, and, yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she's a capable person, but well, she's, she's very damsel, smart, but she's yeah. more of a damsel, where in this movie, she's, like, sword fighting. in 1912, and, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah give it a break. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she does she, she does kick a lot of ass in this movie. Yeah. She knows how to use a sword. So, right. yeah, it's there's a lot of, like, these more modern twists, which it's just fine, That's honestly. It's good, yeah. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so what makes it good? So what does make the film good? I like the visuals a lot, like how it blends CGI with the pra- with um, the live action yes. instances. Like it feels so natural. It is yeah. one of the more and like you said they had this had a guy working at Pixar doing. Andrew it? Stanton was a director. Uh, he was a Pixar guy. He's, He's a writer. He wrote a lot of the Pixar. Movies. He was. I don't yeah. think he was one of the original Pixar guys, but he was early on. Like he was involved in their modern success. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was a writer on one of the Toy Stories, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, like yeah. the... I like the cast of the movie too. Yeah. Um, like, even though two of the actors are, are from X Men Origins Wolverine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. The well, titular John Carter is played by Taylor Kitsch, who was uh, Gambit I, in X Men Origins I think Wolverine. Poor, I think poor Taylor Kitsch and 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 Lynn uh, Collins, Lynn Collins. Um, have been in the unfortunate. They they just unfortunately <laughs> haven't been in good 
movies because their charisma is great in this. This yeah. is su- I. Right. This is supposed to be their movie, right? Like this movie, if and it, it did and it's well, good. it would be like Taylor Kitsch is in everything. Yeah. Lynn Collins is like in everything. And you know he kind of I mean? was like, at the time, and unfortunately, it was a I string think, of bad. I think he was up and coming, former yeah. up and coming guy, and it's just X Men yeah. Origins. Gambit. It was it was yeah. Battleship, and it was this. And, yeah, ugh. and it's a shame because he's good in this, as is mm-hmm. Lynn Collins. Um, but like you said, the integration of CGI and live action was just. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. It yeah. worked very well. And yeah. speaking of cast, I was surprised that um, Brian Cranston's in this movie. Brian, Brian, that's right. Brian he is. Cranston's I'm in like... this movie for a hot minute. Yeah, he is. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Oh, yeah. Willem Dafoe. Oh, yeah. Willem, Willem Dafoe's the voice, voice of Tars, Tars Tarkas. Tars Tarkas. Tars Tarkas. Uh, um, that's the four limbed green Martian. Yeah. 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 And the 12 foot tall four limbed green. Looking at, the, mm-hmm. looking at the environment, like, I could sort of see how this, like, even though it's a. Uh, more modern adaptation. I could see how this would have influenced Star Wars, Flash Gordon. Oh I, yeah, and I, you're I, absolutely right. And I, a lot of, that's what a lot of mm-hmm. people don't realize. This was an influence for those things. And I was I was just going to say that that's yeah. what I why I think the movie was so good was like it was simplistic storytelling at its best. It didn't yeah. ha- it wasn't super complicated. It didn't it have to be. It didn't have to be. Um and I think that's what there's like a certain like charm to, to stories like that. Like, it, it's just a heroic tale. It's not anything, it's not anything uber complex. Yeah, and there is, there is a really good scene where they're all writing together in sort of a loose, it's, uh, it's Tars's daughter, mm-hmm. um, John and uh, Dejah Thoris, and they're writing together and um, he sort of forces Dejah Thoris to be honest, I guess, for the first time in the movie right. towards what's happening because he's, you know, because they don't really trust each other. Mm-hmm. And that scene alone, I mean, that really, that's the only, that's the emotional core of the movie and it makes sense. Like, it's mm-hmm. very strong yep. um, when yeah. she's actually honest. Yeah. Um, that's really good. And she does really well in it. Um, the visuals are great. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, and the action cool. sequence. Action's well paced. There is a really great action sequence where he, Basically uh, attacks like an entire the band of the, tharks, the, the tharks. Yeah. another yeah, group like of tharks. Yeah. by himself. Yeah, after they've been oh, taken over by the evil shredding them. Yeah, yeah, he's just taking them all out, and it's like you well, see. He, does, all... he eventually gets overwhelmed, but yeah, he's, holy crap! He takes out all his <laughs> anger and frustration from like his home life back on Earth on yeah, these guys, and the like Civil War, yeah. yeah, and they like weave in like a little bit of his backstory, he's, like yeah. flashes of yeah. you know former memories while he's killing these things. And there's a lot of killing in this. <laughs> it's very bloody. It's blue yeah. blood. Yeah, there there's monsters. a lot of blood. Yeah. We, I think we talked about it before. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's totally cool to kill monsters. Well, even the Red Martians, which are basically humans with red skin, have yeah. like blue blood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So probably a Disney thing. Yep. Yeah, I mean, which is fine. I don't, honestly, I, I really don't mind it. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, the action was well paced. There's a lot of really good sequences. I think, and the first time I saw it, I think I thought, I thought it made the movie weaker. But upon watching it now, the third time, I think it makes the film stronger. And that's the third act. Like. Once you get into the third act, the big set piece isn't actually the finale. Mm-hmm. It's actually before the finale, and then the yeah. finale just kind of. I know the first time I saw it, it felt abrupt, but I think it fits now right. much yeah. better. I, I I don't think it needed a big action set piece at the end, yeah. and I, I think that's I think the film's stronger for that. Kind of reminds me mm. of the first Conan movie. I think it kind of yeah. I think it kind of plays out better for it. Instead of you know trying to top the white apes, which are from those are from the book, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Uh, what else? What else we got? <laughs> well, I mean, we were talking about everyone who was in it was great. But we talked about that. Yeah, already. the cast is really good. The integration there, of like, CGI there, and there reality is like is good. Th- now this isn't. I think there's a lot of like very sort of modern humor in it. Um, like they they there's a point where they. What he says, what his name is, and he says he's from Virginia, and then that they start calling him. Funny. They just keep calling the, him Virginia the throughout call him, throughout the, the whole. Tharks call him Virginia, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the whole sequence, like we were talking about, where he's trying to walk on this yeah, like planet with like less gravity, and he's mm-hmm. just kind of hurt himself. Yeah, so there's like a there's like a for as kind of violent as this is, yeah. I would say it's fairly violent. Yeah, I, I yeah. would say like it's it's not a bad movie to like keep away from like the kids i think there's Little there's a kids. lot there I think for... some of it can be pretty intense yeah <laughs> but i think for the most part it's like it's still a disney it's action movie. adventure yeah. yeah it's an action adventure movie yeah um 
Definitely simplistic storytelling, yeah. but it's done so well. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's definitely better than um, my initial thoughts when I first saw it, but then again, I was 12 years old. My attention span was a little <laughs> different. Um, yeah. When I first saw it, I was, it's, I was like... It's a bit on the long side. When I first saw it when I was 12, I was like, eh, it's okay. It's not as good as Tron Legacy, which still blew my <laughs> mind back then. <laughs> Boo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I, I, it, and I, then I rewatched it. I'm like, this this is actually not a bad. This is actually a pretty good movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm wondering like why didn't this get all all the sequels and you know why wasn't this movie? Yeah, when we saw it, I had a great time. I had yeah, a great I remember time. enjoying it because I remember like and honestly, I think then I was much more cynical about films than I am now. Like I kind of got past some of that. Yeah, where I'm a little more open, even though I don't like a lot of movies. Yeah, I, I think and then, like at, th- at that point in my life, I just I was ready to hate every movie. I, I saw. didn't want to say anything and I out remember, loud because yeah. I didn't want to ruin your progress. Right. But you've been doing so much better right. at movies. And, but I remember watching it, going, "This is really good." Like, I'm the one who's <laughs> descending into madness. Right now, now you're descending yeah. into madness, right? But I remember thinking, even at that time, like, "Wow, this is a really cool flick." Yeah. Um, um, what was I going to say? I think, you know, um, uh, there was something I was going to go into. I think from a sort of a meta standpoint, when the movie came out, mm. maybe is why it struggled. Because you're talking about it came out the same year as the Avengers. Yep. Mm. I mean, I think as cinema moviegoers, we're used to, at least right now, more fantastic storytelling. It may sit better with a more modern audience as opposed to a 2012 audience. Yeah. Yeah. Because let's be honest, I mean... The only thing superhero at that point, really, I mean, the Iron Man's were out, but even the the early Iron Man's weren't that fantastical. Um, the they, were, they had a lot the of Incredible realism Hulk there, yeah. was even the Incredible Hulk was even that movie was way more grounded than the Avengers I, Hulk. Yeah. Yep. Thor um, was, I mean, what which is, Thor was out already, right? Um, movies. Yeah, Thor tended to be a little grounded too. Um, you know, the Batman's, I mean, they're not fantastical. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, the, the the Nolan films. The Nolan yeah. films. Yeah, the, the ones that are set so, in the quote unquote real yeah, world. I think the X Men's were out, but you know those weren't. Very so good. what? what you're, oh, yeah. Ugh, ugh. yeah. So what yeah. you're saying is John Carter was. It may have been a little, its time, little bit ahead of its time because, as a yep. film. As a yeah, film. because Avengers blew up. Yeah, the, like the the comic book. And movie. every movie since then, I think, has gotten us sort of programmed to accept more fantastical films mm. uh-huh. within a framework. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's my that's my two cents. No, on no, that. I mean, I, yeah, I yeah. agree, I agree, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I, I, I would say that it was before its time. I would, yeah. ne- you know what? I didn't think about that until just now. I never would have thought about that movie being at least a little bit ahead of its time. <laughs> right, right. Um, which is it's hundred years sad. after it was written when it came out, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Gosh, it's now just I know I know the movie does incorporate a lot from like all five books. Like it uses something from I believe it's a five book series, right? Really? So, uh, well, it's a couple books, but there's I think the books. main books are like three books. And normally that would. But come. there's like a bunch of them. But I know yeah. the I, potential spoilers, but it doesn't really m- ruin anything. But I know, okay. I know the White Martians, which is what those one guys were. Yeah. Um, I believe they weren't introduced to the fifth book, or at least it wasn't found out that they were sort of pulling some strings until the fifth book. Yeah. Um, that's why I was saying it, it incorporates elements from like all, like five of the books. Which is oh, fine. Yeah. I mean, this is a standalone. It's not like it left you in a cliffhanger ending. So it's not like. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like, oh, there's going to be a sequel. It was a $350 million budget. Oh, oh my God. God. That makes it even worse. Oh, no, 263. 350 was a total budget with marketing which tells you they didn't actually put a lot into marketing believe it or not Oof. yeah yeah but like i know you adam i know you told me that the witcher um the witcher netflix series they just take aspects of all the stories but try making it into one linear story the show yeah i think the show took i think what the show does i know we're getting a little off topic but the show takes the original stories and the more modern stories and tries to jam them together. Oh, and I, I don't think it works. But in Is that ca- what you're talking about yeah. this? Or? Yeah, but in the case of John Carter, it works more well? Yeah, because I think he crafted a story around elements from those books. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so it's more like what happened with Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy, where like, yeah. like there's like scenes and moments from like other stories, but like it's all interconnected into one story. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's actually more successful than John Carter. Uh, the Hellboy movies are um, good, 
but they do have some issues. Yeah, some of um, the stuff doesn't date very well, but right, I still right, right, I right. still love them. I still love them. Yeah, yeah. they're just. I don't think they're as seamless as this is, <laughs> to be honest. Right, I yeah. I think this is much more seamless as far as putting those all together. I think the simplicity is what gives it that longevity. Like, there's, there's, if you could watch this 10 years down the road, and there's nothing about it where you're going to be like, oh, they probably shouldn't have done that, or right. that didn't age very well. I think this is going to be one of those rare movies that, like, you're going to watch it 10, 15 years down the road and be like, yeah, this is a pretty solid movie. Yeah. Well, um, I just watched it again nine years down the road, and I was like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Get you all excited, right? <laughs> yeah. Like it's a it's a it's, it's a great like, movie. God dang, yeah, um, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will say, um, just in case you're confused, uh, do get the Disney John Carter, not the Asylum right. uh, Warlord of Mars, Princess of Mars. I think the version. Asylum's called something else. Yeah, Princess oh, of Mars, or yeah. I know the first what the first book is called, A Princess of Mars. Right. Um, so I think it's like Warlord of Mars Asylum or something like that. Mars. Anyway, yeah, it's got Antonio. One of the books is Warlord of Mars. It's got yeah. Antonio Sabato Jr. and Tracy Lords. <laughs> Tracy uh, <okay>. Lords. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, yeah, um, it is a great movie. I do highly recommend people it watch it. I mean, should we give it like a retro review? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, oh, a what review? Uh, how, how many stars out of four stars? Out of, out of four stars? Out of four stars, yeah. That's what we've been doing with the other ones. Hold on just a second. I'm looking for some. You guys can go if you want to give it uh, some stars. 3.5 out of four because, well, I I enjoyed it, but um, I didn't see it as blowing my mind like Blade Runner 2049 and those types of movies. Like, like four, I would give four out of four to something like that, but 3.5, I mean, yeah, 3.5 is pretty solid in my views. Okay. So yeah. You want uh, me to go next? Yeah, go ahead. Go next? go ahead. Um this is not a ten point scale, so you can't you can't give like a perfect ten, you're talking about like perfection. There's only maybe one, possibly two films that I could give a perfect ten to. This <laughs> is not that. We're talking for Escape from LA. For right. <laughs> I love that movie though. <laughs> Well, yeah, we should do a show about yeah, the escape, escape, the John Car. We should do a John Carter, uh, John, John Carpenter, Carpenter yeah, John Carpenter. I'm stuck. Yeah, with John saw Carter. wrong one. <laughs> uh, right, he didn't save um, Mars anyway. and come make movies. So John Carter, despite its terrible, unfortunate title, yeah, um, is action adventure of its highest caliber. It is a progenitor Almost in its purest form. Yeah, yeah, it is a progenitor of so much that came after it. It influenced so much. And in, and to get a movie a hundred years after the book was written, the first book was written that is so solid and so entertaining, I have to give it four out of four. Wow! Because as an a pure action adventure, you yeah. go in there, you don't have to think, but it's but it's not a dumb movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's a solid movie. And it's faithful towards and the it's faithful material. towards the source material. Yeah, with a lot of the right elements. It's God, just great. I am I am like between. Where you guys are, like yeah. the three and a half and like the four. There are some things in it that, uh, like, there are a lot of running. Jo- like, uh, the humor is great, but it's just a lot of it has run so much in this movie. Where I'm just like, okay, I get it. His name is Virginia. Can we move on with the Virginia <laughs> stuff? Like, oh, it didn't last that long. Um, I, they said it like so many times. <laughs> um, I only until he could speak, and then only until they could understand each other. It's they, one of those saying it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those few movies that I can still watch now and like still have fun watching it. Yeah, I, I would have to go four. I would have to go four. four? Yes. Yeah, I would have to go four. Yeah, I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed rewatching. You said when you were like, "Hey, let's talk about John Carter." I'm like, yes, "Cool, I'm gonna yeah. watch it again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of this idea before to watch it again. You know what? I'm embarrassed to admit, which I realized today because I had to go on Disney Plus. Yeah, um, you're terrible. To watch it is I don't own this movie. You're the worst. I need. To own I this had to movie. dig through mm-hmm. my Especially- pile of Blu-rays in another room just to. <laughs> Uh, especially as physical media is slowly disappearing, yeah. it's important to buy the movies you love now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Spe- I spe- we saw it in theaters. Especially newer stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We saw it in theaters. I bought it as soon as it we came saw it out in on 3D. TV. Actually, yeah. did we see it in 3D? Yeah, and I hated I hated, it. Hate I hated 3D. 3D. Oh, yeah. I hated that movie. You was know still what? good, though. It screwed me up though because I remember watching it in 3D, thinking like the miniatures look really dumb. Like because yeah. it's something about 3D when they show like far off things, they look like miniatures. Yeah. Like it's something about the process of 3D or how it works. <laughs> on the mind you're like this doesn't look right that's how yeah. much i like this movie i like i completely forgot that we watched yeah. it i just i just remembered like just yeah. remember like i watched 3d three darkens the picture by a lot yeah yeah, yeah. that too yeah because you're I, wearing sunglasses <laughs> yeah. 
basically. That 3D gives me a headache, and I didn't care. This movie was um, great. Yeah, I, yeah. I bought it as soon as it came out on DVD yeah. and like I'm watched it that yeah. day. I'm yeah. embarrassed. I don't own it. <laughs> um, there was a sequel. <laughs> Planned. Shut up. Um, no. Oh, okay. Planned. Yeah. The Gods of Mars. Um, that that uh, they were all signed up to do. Apparently, uh, Lynn Collins was in. Um, Taylor Kitsch. Lynn. Oh, that's somebody else. Lindsay Collins. Is that the same Lynn? I wonder. <laughs> that threw me off. Um, but I guess Willem Dafoe and Taylor Kitsch were both pushing to do it. Okay. Clearly, it was canceled. Um, mm-hmm. Taylor Kitsch said. Uh, I would do John Carter again tomorrow. I'm very proud of John Carter. I agree. It's freaking great. It should yeah. be. Everyone was um, everyone was great. On if you stuck with us this long, I mean, I don't know how many ways we can say it. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen this, you should see it. Yep. Especially if you're an action adventure, fantastic world if you, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Just, if you've been with us from the beginning of the right. show, this is probably what the, the first thing that we've we've like, all we've really liked. liked. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> so if, if you're thinking like yeah. all they're gonna do is hate on movies, like no, that's not yeah. true. Yeah. But. Yeah, this is the one we do not hate on, and uh, yeah, since I, it did so bad, and not a, pe- a lot of people know about it, it's worth it to see it. it guys, is absolutely worth it. Let's yeah. go out. Let's get this movie. Let's watch it on Disney Plus right, right. now. Let's yeah, it's start on a, Disney Plus. Let's That's start right. a surge, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Hashtag make this JC make a sequel before they're all too old to do one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make this the cult film of right. the century. Yeah, it deserves it because it's good. It is a great movie. It's all really right. good. Okay, guys, next week, Space Jam. What? Just kidding. No. Just kidding. Are, are you uh, going to watch it? Do no. you have a chance to watch Invincible at all? No, unfortunately, oh, I have not. I do not have Amazon Prime, but Dang. I will yeah. I will get it so that we can watch it. I saw <laughs> um, the first. Someone well, I knew had the, the season just ended, so it would be a great time to talk about okay. it. Okay, I, ha- so I watched good. the first episode Yeah. Um, because someone I knew had it. Did you watch the after credit scene? Because that really sets up for the rest. Shut up. No way. No, I didn't. How did it end? Did it just have kind of a ho-hum ending? Yeah. Then you totally missed missed it. Yeah, I did. Oh, my God. You missed, like, the the best twist. Well, I didn't know there was going to be, like, a post credit scene. Like, I was busy. I was busy doing stuff. I stopped. We stopped to watch it. And then it was like... The thing is, like, Amazon Prime doesn't give you the option to... You know, normally when the episode ends, it says skip to the next episode. But when Invincible happens, like... When the credit starts, it doesn't give you the option. It doesn't to skip. give you the option to skip until after the credit scene. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a reason for that, which you totally missed out. And the oh, last man. episode was holy crap. Did, did yeah? Did they all have holy crap? Did you read the comic? You know, what's funny is I did start to read the comic. I think I got three or four issues in. I'm just like, this is boring. No. Which no, a lot of people did apparently. Really? I enjoyed it thoroughly. I, I bought a lot of the trades. Apparently, nothing happens until like the 11th issue. <laughs> <laughs> which is why the comics didn't. That's why I bought. Is, I think yeah. that's why I bought the trades. Yeah. I didn't buy the single. I was buying trades at that yeah. point. I think I am now too. Singles. Yeah. Well, yeah. this the show starts up much faster. Okay, it gets it revs up a lot quicker. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'll, I'll sit down and watch it, and yes. we'll talk about it. Season one was really good. Anyway. Okay. All right. We are now getting beyond the boundaries of <laughs> yeah. John, John Carter. Carter. See John Carter. It's awesome. See John yep. Carter. Any before we go, any anything else? Any recommendations of any kind? Um, yeah. What are you into lately? What are you What are you doing? Um, recommendations. Um, I'm playing through the Hitman trilogy, the modern trilogy. It's awesome. Um, I'm going to try to do right now. I haven't done too many gaming streams because. Uh, well, to be honest, life. Yep. <laughs> um, it's getting warmer, and I forgot that yard work is a thing, <laughs> and that's oh. and that's actually cut into my <laughs> streaming time. Mm. How I plan everything. That's why so I live in an apartment. I'm gonna have yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna I don't ha- have to cut anyone's. Grass. I'm gonna have to think about how to still get uh, streaming in there because I do want to stream every week. Uh, I think the summer starting on June 21st. If I don't stream before then. I am going to start Assassination Summer with the hit. I'm going to go through the Hitmans for relaxation. Is that what we're calling it, Assassination Summer? Right. And um, right. I'm going to stream through starting with the trilogy, Hitman 1. And I'm you gonna, guys, this year Every week I'm going to do a level, and uh, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do – hopefully I'll have some more viewers. Actually, I've had like three at one point, which is nice. awesome. Nice. But, <laughs> but um, I think when I do these assassination streams with Hitman, I want to actually put it out to whoever's <laughs> viewing, and I'm going to give them options. Do you want to see? Oh God. Do you want to see the target burn? Do you want to see him blow up? Do you want to see him get yeah, electrocuted? Well, yeah. Do you want it to be an accident? Yeah, yeah, do you want it to pay, be yeah. a sniper Dealer's shot? Choice. What do you, what do you okay. want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. So hopefully, awesome. yeah. But I'm going to I'm going to present it in such a way like because the game is about patience. It's not about just. 
going on. Go in and ki- it's not a killing yeah. spree. Boo. Like you actually have to be sneaky, and you doomed. don't want to you don't want to take out any non targets. That kind of thing. You want to just take out the targets. It's not like Grand Theft Auto. So, no, yes. definitely not. Or I could just run around with a right. gun, yelling that I am the Eagle of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Was that just me? Am wow. I the only one who does it? Uh, anyway, what do you what do you got? Uh, so um, recommendations. Recommendations. Or what are you into? Uh, here's the thing. I think this is a very niche thing to be into, but I'm into it. I, I still think you should check it out. Dark Side of the Ring uh, Season 3 is Dark out. Side of the Ring. Dark Side of the Ring is a Vice uh, docu-series about professional wrestlers. Right, right, right. Uh, the first episode is on YouTube, so you can go to the Vice channel, oh, nice. I believe, and watch the part one of the Brian Pillman story, which is insane. Yeah. This guy was a maniac, but yeah. like in a great way. Such a talented guy. All right. Super crazy. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. I would recommend that you go on YouTube and find it. Noise. Yeah. Okay. And then I think there's like a bunch of old episodes on there too, so you can watch past oh, okay. seasons of it. All right. What um, you got? In Disney. <laughs> okay. In Disney Plus, there's. <laughs> Is that what I think it was? <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> in Disney Plus, there's sorry, uh, Tony, sorry. There's go a ser- there's a documentary series called Marvel Six One Six. Oh, and hey. um, yeah. I think the first episode is about Toei Spider-Man. So if you're into Tokusatsu, Shut up, and really? if you're into Japanese Spider-Man, nice. and if you want to protest that they should actually do new remasters right. of that series. The classic show. Yeah, what are they waiting on? I don't think, honestly, it's knowing Japan and America and the way things were shot and transported back and forth back then, it probably has a lot to do with rights. And uh, and, and, and I am not going to pay more than $100 for a yeah. box set is that what they call DVDs? Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, that that was the last release from like 2000. It was it was before 2010. Right. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. I wouldn't mind if it started streaming. Dude, it I, sounds cool. If it's I, Marvel six one six. Yeah. If I was Marvel, I would just pay Buku bucks. Man, I don't care for for that jet just to put it out. I yeah. think I think I don't know. Maybe it'd be like the Snyder cut. Everybody be excited. <laughs> Yeah, but you bring know, back the, bring back Toei Spider Man. Hashtag Toei Spider Man. You know, clearly they don't want to push the old stuff. They want you to buy and be interested in new stuff, or they wouldn't keep pushing Ray and Finn and all those knuckleheads. <laughs> the documentary they I, show actual remastered scenes from the show. I'm like, why don't you do this at all series? Do you guys? I remember because part of my teenage years. Um, you may remember as a kid, but you may not even know of this movie. Um, do you remember like these really crappy? They were actually 3D. They were from the 80s. It was like, uh, like Space Hunter, the destruction of Jared Sin, and like there were these really cheesy, bad. Like I believe they were European American co-productions, and I don't know. It's, they were not good. Like I know if I saw pictures like, of it, I probably would remember it as YouTube, a kid. I might have been really young. On YouTube, somebody did a comparison video about how they ripped off the plot of that movie for. The the Last Jedi, no, or not the Last Jedi, the one after that, the crappy one, the uh, Skywalker, Skywalker rises. It was <laughs> the Skywalker rises. It was great. Like yeah. it was. Oh, I was like, oh my god, it is that movie. Like, really? <laughs> in a lot of ways, yeah. Mm. It was what the heck. <laughs> Those movies. I feel were like bad. in that in that instance, like the writer was like, oh my god, the deadline's tomorrow. I've only written ten <laughs> pages because I've been watching these weird movies that no one's ever seen before. Right, yeah. They were these cra- It was like yeah. Space Hunter and there's like another one, Metal Storm or something. Like, I don't even remember. I'd have, to see, I'd have to see it. Like, it probably yeah. came out when I was really young. Like, Michael like... Ironside is the bad guy. He, I think he plays a character called uh, uh, Underdog. He's like all made up and he's on like this floating thing yeah. moving around like <sighs> like the Emperor. Oh. <laughs> right? mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh, they're bad. They're bad. They're not good. I think uh, actually, what's her name from the... Uh, Pretty in Pink. Um, Molly Ringwald? Molly Ringwald's actually in one of them, yeah. Oh, okay, now <laughs> Shut really? up, really? Yeah, she is. Oh, uh, no way. Uh, yeah. Oh, these movies just died, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, they're <laughs> bad. Uh, it's good stuff. Good yeah, st- there you go. There's, there's another recommendation um, for you. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, uh, one last thing. Warner Brothers actually mm-hmm. on Wednesday or Thursday announced that they will no longer be producing physical media. What? Um, so what that means. Now, to be honest, for a while, they were doing print-on-demand stuff, which is different for a big company. Um, you know, depending on demand. You mean just comic books or like? No, physical media movies, Warner Brothers. This um, is, why? 
I well, that honestly, that's the way the world's moving. I know, but I mean, what think if, about think about how many modern movies, unless it's a huge movie, I mean, not much comes out. It's what all, if the internet it's all released on? What digital, if the though. internet done dies? Then yeah, how like are we going to be entertained? Runner. Exactly. What, what happens if like we get a blackout like in Blade Runner, right. where all information gets well? With, done well, with that said, if there's any Warner Brothers anything, you got your heart set on, you might want to grab it now. So yeah. here's what I think uh, we do. I think bootleg. we guys. I think the three of us should form a posse. <laughs> right with like weapons and stuff we run into like a best buy start knocking stuff over hitting things and everyone's like dude what are you guys doing like we're taking well, all the warner brothers movies right. and they're like nobody else is freaking out can you guys put your bats down please well i would imagine like the bigger titles are just gonna put it out to like the arrows and the shout factories and stuff yeah because i mean that's it's money to them and if somebody's gonna pay them to produce their movies in a physical media they're gonna let I, it happen i'm sure you'll probably but still find copies a lot of, stuff of the harder stuff places. to find will probably disappear like for example the green slime yeah. i know you guys don't know about that movie, i have that it's movie. amazing i have it that movie is amazing um also uh like uh, uh bermuda depths which is like this really crazy that i haven't seen tv movie that's from the 70s it's like way ahead of its time both thematically and and character wise um, yeah, look at all the stuff we're giving like you guys. That. Super Friends, yeah. you ain't gonna see that anymore. What? Um, most of the most of the '90s, early 2000s, Warner Brothers superheroes animated stuff is only digital now. It's hard to find that stuff on actual physical media. Oh hey, shoot! Okay. Shout, shout out to this YouTuber internet personality guy yeah. named Gorizard. He is the king of Toko bootlegs. So yeah, there's that. Nice. Which, by the way, lives, I know lives, oh, bootlegs right. office is associated. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Uh, bootlegs are often associated with piracy, which is often associated with being illegal. That is not necessarily true. Yep. If the film currently is an imprint, it is legal to produce it for people. We're sure about that. We're not just telling people to start no, printing stuff. No, I'm sure about that. Okay, because there was legal legal bootleggers because mm. the movies out of print, they were able to sell copies. Mm, okay. Um, okay. Because it's kind of the impetus is on the company to keep it in print. <laughs> but I mean, Warner Brothers now because they've announced that, I think that's probably a different territory now. You right. probably get in trouble for that. Okay. So, yeah. So go get your Warner Brothers movies. So yeah. After you run out and get John Carter of Mars, if you right. haven't already. All right. We're kind of going on along about dumb stuff now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, we will see you guys next week. Please hit like and subscribe. Right. And leave us. Listen, if you've seen the movie, let us know. Yeah, what let, you us think. know. let us know what you think watch of the movie. Watch it again. Yeah. Watch, watch it, it again. again. Let us know what you think. Gosh. Watch it again. And let's Gosh. try to get this. Let's try to get this sequel going. Guys. Right. Gods yes. of Mars. Gods of Mars. All right. You guys, have a good night. Good night. Yeah. We'll see you night. next week.